going back a little bit uh, to, to the early beginnings of uh, the subways, um, can you remember the, the first demo that you recorded as a band? First demo? <laughs> I can't remember what the first one was. We had lots of early ones. We used to record demos all the time so we could have, have songs to send off to promoters mm. in London and the surrounding area so that we could get gigs. That's the, that's the way we got gigs back in those days. Um, but I can't remember what the very first song is. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Do you ever listen back to, to that early Sometimes. Album? Actually, for this album, when, um, we, they, when we're going through a phase of finding writing for the album quite difficult, we did sort of revisit um, the very early demos just to you know, see where it all started and hear what our energy was like back then and just try and get some inspiration from that. Yeah. It's quite funny hearing them again, we're like 16. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you discover then about that music? Um, it, we sounded very sort of young and um, gutsy and energetic and I think that, that that's our roots and that's kind of what we've always been as a band, is very energetic and playing live has always been very important to yeah. us. Um, why was it for this new album difficult to find that, that, that energy? I'm not really sure. I think it was just um, the second album we wrote mainly when we were on tour in America with, um, with Taking Back Sunday. Um, this time around, we didn't really write much on the road um, for the third album. It was when we got back, we spent like a year, over a year, in the rehearsal room writing songs. We sort of wrote about 60 songs before we settled on the 12th for the album. So we were writing lots of songs, but we just weren't really quite happy with them. Um, but it's sort of, you know, after a while that turned round and we started writing songs we were happy with and then obviously got to the 12, but maybe mm. it's the album. Was it so sudden that there suddenly came good songs again? A little bit. There was kind of like um, a song called It's a Party and we wrote that song and it seemed after that things sort of started flowing a lot more and then mm. all, all the others kind of just came about after that. Mm. And the period before, is it frustrating to... Oh, it's incredibly frustrating. It's, it's, a di it's very difficult, especially because um, we, we love playing live and all we wanted to do was get back out on the road, but mm. we knew we had to write and record an album first. Well, the actual recording process itself is normally quite fun. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of the, the period before of getting the songs together. It, it can be quite stressful, I think. Mm. And as well, knowing what's good, it's very difficult to know. That's why we, we often, that's why the demos are so important, because we can send them to our managers and other people that we trust to get their opinion as well. Is their opinion important for you? Yeah, very important. I think it helps have an outsider's opinion mm. of people you trust. Not, not, don't send it to everybody, but it's good to have mm. people you trust their opinion of to know. Because sometimes we get in, in this insular little bubble and you don't know what's good and what's not. Mm. So. Yeah. N not every artist would, would agree with you, I think, but th that's the best way for you to work? I think because, so. Yeah, because some artists say, well, art is, 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 is a selfish act and it has has to come from, from, from you uh, and, and not, not from an outsider and there's no interference needed like Picasso wouldn't ask someone else if, if they like it. How, how do you feel about that? Oh, I completely understand that and I understand why people would think that but I think for us it's just good to know if, just what people think. As long as for us, our fans are really important as well when we play a song live it's really important for us to see how they react to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's normally a pretty good indication if the song's any good or not, which is why we normally play new songs live mm. um, when we're out on tour. It's such a good test. Yeah, and if there isn't a response, the, the song is... Don't uh, completely lose the song, but maybe work on it a bit. Mm. Yeah, I think we, yeah. And all our demos as well, all the, all the, the, as I said, the 60 songs we threw away, they're not dead and forgotten. They'll be, mm. They may be resurrected for the fourth album. Or we're still, we've still kept all those demos. And mm. There's some good stuff in there. Mm. <laughs> so there are also maybe old songs from uh, in the period of the first or second album that are re somewhat reincarnated in, 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 in newer albums? Or yeah, it's possible. Yeah. It's possible for that to happen, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing on this album, but you, you, know, you never know, it might happen. Yeah.